Hello there, back with more Black Honey Gloss Relatives. After my original Black Honey Dupes video passed a million views, my recent gloss video on the topic reached 100,000 eyeballs in two weeks, so there's clearly something about this colour group that still captures people's imagination a couple of years after it first went viral. I'm more than happy to keep giving you what you want and unearth similar earthy shades that belong on the gloss guest list for brownie berries, reddy browns, brownie reds, whichever way you look at them, my RSVP is always going to be yes. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, continuing my work with the website builder I used to make MatildaOnVideo.com. You can find all of my previous Black Honey picks in a blog post there. In the last gloss episode, the packaging colours may have looked pretty satisfying together in the thumbnail, but the shades were different. It wasn't a dupes video, just looking at dark brownie gloss options that fit that current trend. This time I've honed in on shades that do share that warmer red tone of the Black Honey gloss and managed to find some some closer matches. I also think I have one more episode up my sleeve maybe which would move into more muted berry territory. If you like the sound of that let me know. There also seems to be a bit of interest in brown lipsticks so I'm cooking up something chocolatey on that front. To recap quickly, or introduce you if this is the first video in this series you've stumbled across, the original Black Honey Almost Lipstick is a buildable, warm blackberry. Sheer, so it looks slightly different on everyone over your natural lip colour, and it just enhances and deepens the look of your lips. Its baby sister, Pop Plush Creamy Lip Gloss in Black Honey Pop, has sort of stolen the spotlight for me lately. I really like the balmy, thicker but comfortable old school gloss feel. Not for everyone, but I find that bit of tack and stick helps it cling to your lips longer and the colour doesn't separate. And speaking of colour, that red tone when you build it is the best bit. More red current than black current and more pigmented than the original. I've even layered two nail colours today to try to capture that balance of brown and red in these glosses. So let's bring in the competition. Not a competition, they're all winners obviously, but you might find a particular shade or tone that speaks to you. Starting with one of my top gloss formulas, the ridiculously underrated Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Gloss, a highlight of my comfortable lip gloss video. First tried these in 2019 and they're still one of the creamiest, smoothest gloss formulas I've come across. Glassy shine, nicely pigmented. Flesh 4 is described as a warm mid-tone brown and it's certainly related to Black Honey ever so slightly cooler, like dark chocolate with little bits of freeze-dried blackberries in it. Key ingredient, vitamin E, scent, strong, rich vanilla, like vanilla bean. A liquid lip balm slash serum option from Fit Glow Beauty. Their lip colour serums have such a wonderful texture, cushiony and gel-like, so it almost coats your lips. State of Kate is obsessed with these. You can see every shade swatched on her channel, but Root belongs right here. I'd always called it a berry brown, but I saw it called earthy brown plum recently. Nice plummy way of putting it. Even more red warmth and the colour is creamy and strong. Key ingredients organic pomegranate sterols, vegetable collagen and beet extract, scent earthy vanilla as Kate calls it. It's not sickly sweet. Sophia Ritchie's wedding look seems to have inspired many of us to rediscover old Nude Sticks formulas and I've gone back to a 2019 favourite, Nude Sticks Nude Plumping Lip Glacé. Not plumping in a spicy sense, it has some volumising peptides and a smooth shiny finish that makes lips look full. Back to that thicker, old school gloss stick here, but it's still comfortable. Nude 08 is the deepest in their gradient of nudes, called a deep tan, but it has that rich red terracotta quality we're looking for. Key ingredients, vitamin E, shea, avocado and murumuru seed butters, scent, strong mint. Can't tell you how many luxury beauty lovers have been in the comments over the years talking about this and I finally bit the liquid lip balm bullet. Givenchy Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm in 117 Chilling Brown is gorgeous. Absolutely the star of this shade range. This coffee toned nude has a touch of rosy red to it so it's a perfect my lips but better flush in such a comfy balmy softening formula. Key ingredients pink pepper, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and shea butter. If my lips are really dry I do feel the tiniest hint of warmth initially presumably from the pepper. Scent strong sweet rose. 
bending the rules slightly to include a product that's not strictly a gloss but gives you shiny results regardless and it's a nice washed out fit for this colour family. Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Honeysuckle, described as black cherry, is fairly subtle compared to previous glosses here that pack quite a punch. A click up swipe on stick that luckily for me isn't a fiery lip plumping situation, more of a menthol like coolness instead of heat. Key ingredients, maracuja and grapeseed oils, scent, soft coconut apparently, so subtle I didn't pick it. A few of you mentioned Merit's Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oils last time, right there with you. Sangria is part of the extended family, but this formula is a lot thinner than the rest, so light it's almost watery, not a plush feel like Clarins or Dior lip oils, but that's because it's meant to be somewhere between a lip oil and a light stain. To avoid this deep berry looking patchy because it's so thin, I like to lightly blot it with a tissue. We've got more red berry happening here. Here, but we're missing a bit of that black honey brown. Key ingredients, rosehip, grapeseed and jojoba oils, scent, fragrance free. Sneaking in another non-gloss, technically a glossy tinted balm, but such a great colour. I shared a quick unboxing of this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Brown Sugar in a recent Instagram reel. Very excited to finally try it. I still enjoy the original, but this is a delightful deep shade. Some lip liner, planning to talk about that in future, and this on top is such a cool laid back lip much cooler, almost looks purply brown in comparison to Black Honey, but I know some of you wanted to see how it compared. Key ingredients, murumuru seed and shea butters, scent, sugary, freshly baked cookies. I've lost count of how many products belong in the Black Honey cinematic universe at this point, but if you fancy going back through the archives, you'll find it all there on my blog, matildaonvideo.com. It's such a pleasure to work with Squarespace because they make things so easy for creators with simple tools and templates, nothing's overcomplicated, no coding required. A lot of friends have built websites or run small businesses using their services, and it's far more user-friendly than any other website platform I've tried in the past. So if you're looking to launch a blog, blog, website or online store, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Thank you for joining me on yet another Black Honey adventure. Which of these sheer shiny shades appeals to you? Or do you think the original gloss is still the best? I'm just waiting for Clinique to capitalize on years of Black Honey hype at this point and give us other product lines or bring back limited edition launches from years ago. We've got gloss, so how about an eyeshadow palette? eyeliner, lip liner, blush, please. What would you like to see? And if there are other gloss or lipstick color groups you'd like me to focus on in future, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.